Now this is kind of an interesting one because we're going to start outside of ZBrush. So I'm in uh, AGSoft Meta Shape, which is a photogrammetry software. If you want to see how I made this, I have that on my playlist here on my YouTube channel under the photogrammetry playlist that I'll walk you through how I created this scene. Essentially, you know, I built the point cloud data into a model, uh, transferred these photographs in, onto a texture map that was applied to that point cloud data model. And then I went up here to file export model. And then I just saved this out as an FBX here. And I think saved it as test.fbx. And then I went into Maya and I did a little bit of cleanup. I'm going to go in here to show image plans. I'm just going to turn those off temporarily. So you're going to see I have my mesh in here. Uh, with the texture applied that came in with the FBX. I got a bunch of cam cameras in here that were also imported with the FBX. I just went through and I think I grabbed 20 of the cameras just to get a, a wide array of cameras. And then in these cameras, if I go into control A to go into my attribute editor and I scroll down into environment, you're gonna see I have underneath this environment image plane area. I went ahead and loaded in the image planes. Of course, the cameras are labeled the same name as the uh, JPEG that the image is. So. How convenient is that? So if I go in here again and I do show image planes, these are going to be the image planes attached to the camera. If I have this camera selected and I say panels, I'll look through selected, you're going to see, you know, here's here's the model. And then if I deselect the model, there's the image plane assigned to my camera to this model. Let's say I take all of these cameras and this model and I go in here to file, export selection. I'm going to name this statue from Maya. I'm going to go down here. I'm going to make sure... I mean, obviously, cameras is checked on, embed media is checked on. I'm going to say export selection. We'll hop over into ZBrush. We're going to go in here to import. Import the statue for Maya FBX. Import the cameras. Give it a second. It's going to load up the model. It's going to apply the texture to the model, and it's going to tell you 20 cameras were imported. And uh, I'm going to, so if you double click this little double arrow over here, that'll open up this docking station over here. I'm going to take, I'm going to, just the brushes in there so hit that white dot to get rid of it and then we're going to take our draw menu where our camera information is stored in zbrush drag it over here and if i scroll all the way down to the bottom you're going to see i have access to all 20 of my cameras that were imported here so i can go through and i can select them and it's going to load up that image plane along with this model now for my model in zbrush i'm going to go down here to texture map and i'm going to turn texture off and it's still poly painted so now i'm going to go to subtool and turn off colorize and now you can see the model just the geometry uh, with the camera behind it. However, I can't go in here to model opacity and I can turn this model opacity down. So if I turn this down to zero or down to one, you can see I have very low model opacity and here's the model uh, with the image plane behind it. So I can kind of turn this down, you know, quite a bit and then I can use this MO button to toggle the model opacity on and off. And you can see there's the image plane right behind it. Same thing with all these other cameras. I can switch the camera view. I can change the model opacity. I can turn the model opacity on and off. And you can see the difference between the model and the image behind it. Of course, you're also going to see some store and delete in here uh, next to load image, as well as you can store a camera, delete a camera, uh, delete all your cameras if you'd like. So while you're in ZBrush, you can make changes. Uh, for example, you know, for camera 144, 604, I can go in here and say, you know what? Oops, this one didn't get a get an image assigned with it. No problem. Go in here to load image. Go into your folder where your images are. Here's 604, load this up. We can hit store, and that'll go ahead and store this image plane along with this camera. Uh, of course, you can still move your object around. So you can, here's the object uh, away from the, the model here. Uh, of course, if you want to go back to that camera, just click back and it'll snap your camera back to the view with that image plane loaded. Uh, of course, if you want to, you can go through here and you can move your model around. Basically, do whatever you'd like in ZBrush with these image planes to guide you. Of course, if you want to delete a camera, you can just delete that camera. And then when we go back and forth, it'll be gone. You can rename a camera. You can move your object here and then you could store a new camera if you'd like. And if you ever want to come back to this working ZBrush session where you've got your cameras all set up and your image planes loaded, uh, don't store, uh, don't save a Z tool. Make sure you go in here to File, Save As, and Save a Z Project. So in this case, call the statue image planes, go ahead and hit Save. And then if I want to open this ZBrush working session back up, it'll load up my cameras with my image planes, and I'm good to go.